Access to harmonized standardized consistent reproducible global products which can be used as proxies for any soil landscape processes remains one of the main objectives for the global soil mapping projects. WorldGrease.org data portal has been launched in 2012. This is now a central repository for collecting, storing, accessing, and interacting with grid data sets for production mapping. Its main purpose will be to serve soil covariate layers for global soil mapping and analysis. World Grids is one of the major components of the GCIF Global Soil Information Facilities, which is ISRIC's framework for production of open soil data with global coverage. For more information about GCIF, please refer to the project page. Currently, the main focus of worldgrids.org are the one and five kilometer resolution maps. World Grids already contain some 20 layers at one kilometer resolution and over 100 layers at five kilometer resolution. New layers will be continuously added to the repository. The layers include topographic-based predictors derived from SAP and BM, modest vegetation land surface temperature products, global land cover maps, climatic images, and similar. The following example shows long-term variation of the modest land surface temperature image, possibly an important predictor of the soil water content regime and or soil mineralogy. Note that all the modest products have a high potential for DSM applications. They often require significant resources to produce covariates which can be directly used for soil mapping. In this case, this original image will need to be filtered to reduce the missing pixels. The number of images also needs to be reduced from 3, 3 to 200 images to 4 to 5 principal components. We have also derived the global soil productive areas map based on the modest leaf area index imagery. This image shows all areas that were under some sort of vegetation for at least one month in the last 10 years. The mass map of the soil productive areas will help us estimate processing required to predict soil properties for the whole world. WorldGrids also offers a number of web services via wpsworldgrids.org. These include map overlay, subsetting, aggregation, and metadata harvesting. These methods have been implemented via the PI WPS open source web processing service framework. WorldGrids.org protocols. For practical reasons, WorldGrids is based on a number of conventions that simplify data search. First convention is that all grids prepared, all grids needs to be prepared using six standard resolutions ranging from 100 to 5, 5 kilometer, 100 meters to 5 kilometer. Standardized scales are useful for planning the processing and resources. For example, a one kilometer map of the world source contains at least 105 million pixels. Second convention is that the grid names follow a simple naming convention. The first three letters are used for the variable type. The next three letters represent the data source or collection method. The sixth character corresponds to the effective scale. The seventh character corresponds to the map version. Third convention is that all grids are served as geotiffs with GOT files with numeric domains. A detailed metadata, including all processing steps, are attached to each layer. World, World Grids has been designed as a decentralized repository, which means that ISRIC will support submission of new data to the repository with a network of users. Anyone is now welcome to contribute and suggest global data sets for the repository. The minimum requirements to include the grid and map on the World Grids portal are it must correspond to one of the standard field resolutions and must be submitted as compressed GeoTIFF. Second, it must have a global coverage with less than 5% of missing pixels for the domain of interest. Third, it must be produced using reproducible procedures. Fourth, must, metadata must accompany the original data. Fifth, new maps contributed to world grids must be registered with some, via some Creative Commons license. The worldgrids.org is still under construction, hence we recommend contacting the authors to obtain more information about most recent releases and updates. For more info, please visit www.worldgrids.org. Thank you.